Alright everybody, how are we? What is going on? <laughs> you know, I've just thought of something really funny. There's a guy who I follow, look, I'm, gonna give, I'm finally going to give him a shout out because he was a big inspiration behind me, you know, starting my YouTube channel back in the day, probably starting, you know, bodybuilding back in the day, even starting this, this clothing brand. My clothing brand, Major Key Physiques. His name is Friesma. I won't tell you his real name, although I do know it. He's from New Zealand. He's been making YouTube videos for probably about seven years now. And um, at the start of his video, he said, <laughs> and, and I quote, and tell me, what you, tell me what you would think if you heard me say this at the start of a video, okay? Imagine this. What is up, everyone? What is going down? Welcome back to another video. Now, I've just completely and utterly contradicted myself there. What is up? What is going down? Well, I don't know, Friesma, but uh, it, it really cracked me up, okay? I watched the video last night, he said, what is up, what is going down, and I just lost it. And um, I thought I'd have to mention that. In fact, this morning I just about said, what is going down? And uh, we're not going to do that. So, look, what I want to do today is something I have wanted to do for a long, long time, and that is to check out one of the other great American sports, so I'm told, and that is lacrosse. More, more specifically, I, I feel like it's called field lacrosse, but I don't know. So what I've done is I've gone and selected five different videos to do with lacrosse, and we're going to work our way through them today. I don't know what I'm going to see. I don't exactly know the rules. So the first video we're going to watch is called The Rules of Field Lacrosse Explained, and I can't wait to watch it. It's been sitting here on my desktop for ages. I've got all these videos I've just slowly worked through. I'm going to New Zealand in two days for New Year's, my dad surprised me with an amazing Christmas present, which is a trip back. Another trip back. So life is good. All I'm doing before I go is I'm trying to record as many reactions as possible. I'll edit them whilst I'm away, and you guys are going to enjoy them. Today, we're going to finally, once and for all, learn the rules of field lacrosse. So let's do that. It explains the rules of field lacrosse. The object of the game. <laughs> Nin explains. Okay, <laughs> I actually vividly remember this guy's name, Nin, and also his voice and his channel because back in the day, probably about a year ago, I looked at one of his videos talking about the differences between Canadian football and American football. And back then, I didn't know enough, and it kind of went all over my head. So I should probably watch that video again. But today, Nin, I don't know if you're qualified to teach me about lacrosse, seeing as you're from England, but we'll give it a go. 3 minutes 56 long, 260,000 views, 6.4 thousand likes and 66 dislikes. It's got to be good. Let's get into it. Aim is for your team to score more goals than the opposing team. To score... Oh! Did a thing! First thing we see is a little shake, a little juke, a little shimmy. Well, there you go. A player must use his lacrosse stick and shoot the ball into the goal. Ah! Oh, ba ba bang bang off the left, fling off the right into the top corner. What a goal. The ball must completely cross the goal line and the shooting player must not step into the goal crease for a goal to count. Goals are six foot wide and six foot high and the goal crease is 18 feet in diameter. The field is 110 yards. Six foot high, six foot wide, it's not huge. And I guess if that attacking player can't get into that circle, I guess the goalie's got a shot at stopping it. Long by 60 yards wide, and the goals are located 15 yards in at each end. 20, 20, 110 yards, okay. Rugby field, 60 yards wide. It looks like a rugby field. The field. The game starts with a face-off. <laughs> what? What did we just see? Two balls going against each other. 15 yards in <laughs> at each end of the field. The game starts with a face-off. Wowee, look at that. <laughs> oh my god, it's a, it is like rugby. It's like a scrum. It's a mixture of it's a mixture of uh, rugby and hockey. <laughs> okay. Once a team has possession of the ball, they will. Oh, now I'm thinking. Okay, what's the average like body type, body size, for a lacrosse player? Is it big? Is it slight? You know, what do you need? Do you need acceleration? Do you need agility? Or do you need strength? Do you need a 40-inch vertical jump? You probably do. Try and move the ball towards the opposing goalie and try and score. You can pass the ball directly between teammates, pass it along the ground to a teammate, or create the ball. It is lit. And, okay, and they've got football helmets, okay? So it's literally a mixture of rugby. So far, it's a mixture of rugby, hockey, and football. Run with it. 
The idea is in handball. That's a been good position to be able to shoot the ball towards the goal. Oh, look at the goal. The goal's in the middle. It's not at the end of the... It's actually really interesting. The goal is not at the end of the field. So you can... There's, you know, probably 10, 15 yards behind the goal that you can still play in. Actually, how, how many yards is that? Defensive area. Okay, so there's 15 yards from the goal line to the end of the field. And the goals are located 15 yards in at each end of the field. I probably should have listened to that. <laughs> by blocking shots, body checking. Oh shit! What's the goal? The opposing team will try and stop you by blocking shots, body checking, or stick checking. They will try and take the ball away from you so that they can score themselves. Field the cross is played with two teams with ten players on the field at any one time. Okay, so there's no actual tackles as such. It's body checking, stick checking, just like they do in hockey. They consist of one goaltender, three defenders, three midfielders, and three attackers. Whoa! There's ten players on a field. That's more than I thought. The big difference between field lacrosse and box lacrosse is that in field lacrosse, you must keep at least four players, including the goalie, in your defensive half of the field. And you must keep three players in your attacking half of the field. And that is like netball, believe it or not. Shit, man, how many sports do you want to combine? The three midfielders may go anywhere on the field they wish. Another difference is that up to four players on each team... Ah, uh, yeah, in well, in netball, I don't know if you play netball in... Um, America and Canada, but we certainly do here. And you've got seven players on a netball team. I think three can stay down this end, three can stay down that end, and one, the center, can roam the whole field. So, three, 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 not too hard to understand. Let's continue. You can use a long lacrosse stick. The huh? The difference is that up to four players on each team can you may go anywhere on the field they wish. Another difference is that up to four players. Oh, do you see that little dead leg there? on each team can use a long lacrosse stick. The game is played in four 15 minute quarters for a total playing time of 60 minutes. High score at the end of time... 18-11, holy shit. ...wins. Just like in ice hockey, field lacrosse is filled with things you can and cannot do. Should you break one of these rules, you will serve a time penalty, leaving your team with one less player and your opponents with a man advantage. 15 yard the penalty! The man advantage is known as the extra man offense or man of this makes it easier to score, as there is one less player to defend the net. The team with the man in the penalty box is known as Man Down, and usually they defend like crazy until the time of the penalty expires. Right. The length of time of penalty depends But they still need the four players to be up at the other end. Or three players. The infraction made. Technical fouls such as holding an offside. Well, actually, how many players are there? One, two... The length of time... One, two, three, four, five, six plus the four up the front. Penalty depends on the infraction made. No, there's one off, so there's three up the front. Technical fouls such as holding an offside results in a 30 second penalty. Personal fouls such as tripping and unsportsmanlike conduct results in a 60 second penalty. Major fouls such as using illegal equipment and disputing with the officials results in a three minute penalty. So that's basically field lacrosse in a nutshell. But there's a few other things that you'll need to... Shit, to only have a 30 second penalty or 60 second penalty, the game must be go, 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 go. There can't be a lot of stoppages. But we're about to find out. ...stand before playing or going to a game. For example, offsides. As previously mentioned before, you must keep at least four players in your defensive... Oh! <laughs> All he did was a little step, but... That shit gets me off my feet, man. I love it. I love it because I like doing it on the field. That's the only reason why. That's the reason why I love juking. Man, I can remember back when I was 15, 16, coming home after school, practicing stepping on the way home. Bang, bang, bang. That was the time, literally 16 to 17 was, was the age that I fully developed any step that I have in my repertoire right now. And it's because I practiced, 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 practiced. And dumb, um, you know, <laughs> just to see it on the field, in front of me, in any sport. I know what it feels like to, to make that kind of cut, to make that kind of juke, and it feels incredible when it comes off. I just love it, I don't know why I love it. Some guys love trucking, I mean, I love trucking. I love the spin move, but there's nothing like, oh, there's just nothing like it. It's the kind of steps that I tried to teach early on in my YouTube channel, but I didn't quite know how to put it into words. So I should probably go back and revisit some of my sidestepping tutorials.
But with that being said, let's continue. And three players in your Score team. that! This means that you can have a maximum of seven players in your defensive half. Any more than that, and the offending player will be called for offside, and the player sent off for 30 seconds. Sorry, I was watching the player, I didn't... ...in your attacking half. This means that you can have a maximum of seven players in your defensive half. Yeah. Any more than that, and the offending player will be called for offside, and the player sent off for 30 seconds. Okay, so if you break one of those rules about positioning on the field, it's a 30 second penalty. Sudden death overtime. There are no ties in field lacrosse, so overtime periods are played to determine the winner. These periods usually last a maximum of five minutes. First team to score a goal wins. What has happened there? It usually lasts a maximum of What are they doing? Five minutes. First <laughs> team to score a goal wins. Substitution. There are unlimited substitutes in field lacrosse and can be made on the fly so long as it's in the designated area. Shot clock. In Major League Lacrosse only, once you've taken possession of the ball, you have 60 seconds in which to shoot the ball at the opposing goal. If you haven't shot the ball within 60 seconds, the other team is awarded the ball. Okay. Cool. So it's a go, go, go game. There's a lot of action. There's a shot clock. There's offside rules. There's only a, a, a very small penalty. There's uh, no, no, no stopping the game for substitutions. I think the game from what I've seen so far, would be pretty fast paced for that full 60 minutes. I don't even know if they stop. Two point goal. In Major League Lacrosse only, if you shoot the ball from outside this area and it goes in. Oh, we've got a long distance shot. That would be a nice one. This is worth two goals. This I wonder what the longest shot in lacrosse history would be. Rule does not apply in any other lacrosse league. That's a lot to take in, but as you watch your play field lacrosse, the rules will become clear. If you found this video at all helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things, and good oh! is very much breaks through. Scores it. On Reddit, you can also post this video and discuss it there. But in the meantime, enjoy field lacrosse. The helmets look mean. I got to be honest. Uh, all right, mate. We'll give you a like, and that is our first video of the day. Now, I will show you the selection we've got for the four other videos. We've got. We've got lacrosse on a GoPro, and you know what? We're going to watch that one now. Let's see what. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what it really feels like to play, eh? First person. Yeah, we're going no buckles, right? We're swag hounds. Ooh. Uh oh. Are you on me, bro? You guys ready? Let's do it quick. Hey, this is pretty sweet. Just a pickup game down at the field. Go, go, go. Whoa! Look at that! Hey, we're all friends here. We're all friends here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah keep going, keep going. Uh, score that! What happened there? Did he knock it out of his hand? The hell happened there? Did he lose it out of the back of his net or was that a trick pass behind his head? I think he just lost it. No, what happened there? That is a beautiful move. If he did a backwards pass behind his head. So that's him there, 63. We've got, the, we've got this backwards pass. He did it on purpose, didn't he? Or did he try and shoot from behind his head and the goalie stopped? I don't know. How do you want me to break you? I'm the quarterback. Oh, oh the, <laughs> the sidestep. Behind the head, there we go. There it is. There it is. What's up, dude? You play real defense, I'll just break the normal, okay? They're keeping it in, they're keeping it in. Oh, the double pump. The fake. Oh, oh, oh. 
Beautiful stick check. Oh, that's like a fucking receiver route. Do something. One more, one more. The bounce pass. Oh, I'm seeing it all now. Behind the neck, we've got a bounce pass. We've got a double pump. <laughs> I mean, what's next? Yeah, buddy. Oh, you think that's a good step, do you? Well, I'll show you a good step. All right, guys, that was fun. That was fantastic. We finally started it, and that's all you got to do. You got to turn the fucking camera on, press play, and just see what happens. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is literally my first ever look at lacrosse. I think I may have seen a few photos, maybe, maybe I've seen like a 10 second, 20 second clip before in my life. I've never seen a behind the back pass, I've seen that in rugby, not in lacrosse. Uh, I've never seen a bounce pass, I've seen that in basketball, not in lacrosse. And uh, you know, I've never seen a double pump shot. I mean I've seen that in handball, but not in lacrosse. So it seems as if there's just a whole heap of different sports rolled into one. And that's similar to AFL here in Australia. The sport where you'll see people get mossed on a daily basis, uh, just like Randy Moss. AFL, Aussie Rules Football. It's a, it's a mixture of basketball, it's a mixture of volleyball, it's a mixture of rugby, it's a mixture of soccer, Gaelic football, among many others. So if you are interested, check out Australia's national sport, AFL. I'm not into it, I'm into rugby, but you might be. So with that being said, have a fantastic night, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. I swear I like your style. Put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile. Girl, I swear for you, I run the world, I'd run the mile. The way you look at me, I think I'm going insane.